Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Now, today I will fantasy book how I would want to see Drew McIntyre dethrone Roman Reigns. Now, before I start, I do know that Cody Rhodes will most likely be the one to beat Roman at WrestleMania, which is a great choice, don't get me wrong on that. But I believe that Drew McIntyre is a better choice since he hasn't felt like a top guy for a long while and just has not felt main event worthy. Now, Drew McIntyre will challenge Gunther at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship, and I think he will win and have a pretty good reign, but he needs to be in the World Championship picture for that big moment with the fans he never got to have back in 2020 and for him to truly prove he is the number one guy by dethroning the current best WWE superstar in this era, that being Roman Reigns. Now, let me explain how I would want Drew to dethrone Roman. McIntyre just lost in his match against Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, and after a backstage interview, he shrugs off the loss and says he gave it his all to win the championship and that he will eventually get a shot at Gunther once again or challenge whoever walks out of WrestleMania as the WWE Undisputed Champion. Reigns retains his championship against Cody Rhodes after Solo Sokoa helped Roman without the referee looking. WrestleMania goes off the air with Roman Reigns and what's left of the bloodline consisting of Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman in the middle of the ring with Drew McIntyre watching them from the backstage area. It's the Raw after WrestleMania, and at first, Cody Rhodes doesn't know what to say or how to feel after failing to complete his journey to become the undisputed champion. Cody then goes on to say that he has not only disappointed himself and his family, but has ultimately disappointed his father, Dusty Rhodes. Cody makes the choice to challenge Roman Reigns in a rematch for the Undisputed Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. After Cody Rhodes goes backstage, he approaches Adam Pearce demanding to face Roman one more time for the Undisputed Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. And to his delight, Pearce gives him another opportunity against Roman Reigns. We then get to SmackDown, and Drew McIntyre is in a match against Madcap Moss. And as he picks up the win against Madcap, Drew looks into the camera and tells Roman to not forget about him. Later that night, Cody Rhodes is being interviewed backstage, but the interview gets interrupted by Drew McIntyre, who tells Cody he never got another opportunity against Roman Reigns after Clash at the Castle, and challenges Cody to a match where if he wins, he takes Cody's spot against Reigns at WrestleMania Backlash. Cody doesn't back down from the challenge and accepts it, shaking Drew's hand, wishing him luck in their match. But during the weekend, Adam Pearce reveals he will have an announcement on Raw in regards to the match between Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes. It's Raw, and the show begins with Adam Pearce coming out to the ring, announcing that if Drew McIntyre wins, he will be added into the WWE Undisputed Championship match between Reigns and Rhodes, turning it into a triple threat match. Both McIntyre and Rhodes reveal they don't mind the new stipulation one bit before they both head out into the ring. During their match, Roman Reigns makes his first appearance after WrestleMania with Paul Heyman by his side and watches the match from the entranceway. When it looks like Cody is going to win after hitting three crossroads to McIntyre, he kicks out shocking everyone, and still puts up a fight. Drew is about to hit his second Claymore, but Cody counters it and is about to hit a crossroads, but Drew is able to escape right on time and hit his second Claymore, beating Cody Rhodes. The stage for WrestleMania Backlash is now set. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes versus Drew McIntyre in a triple threat match for the Undisputed Championship. And as Drew McIntyre is celebrating his win against Rhodes, Roman Reigns gets into the ring and spears him putting his boot on his chest while holding the WWE and Universal Championships. On SmackDown, 
Drew is looking for Roman Reigns after he speared him, and when he goes out to the ring to call him out, Reigns appears on the Titan Tron, revealing he isn't there, but promises to Drew that he, just like Cody, will walk out of WrestleMania Backlash with nothing but disappointment and proof they aren't on his level. Drew then heads backstage and encounters Sheamus, who wishes him luck at WrestleMania Backlash before they both discuss going solo, doing their own thing, and then go their separate ways after their little discussion. We get to WrestleMania Backlash, and it's time for the main event, Reigns vs. Rhodes vs. McIntyre for the Undisputed Championship. Cody and Drew team up in the beginning of the match to take out Roman Reigns, but focus on each other for a minute before Reigns eventually comes back in and it turns into a free-for-all fight. Roman sends Cody through one of the announce tables, and when it looks like he is going to retain after spearing Drew in the ring, he kicks out. Near the end of this match, everyone hits their finishers on each other, and after Drew McIntyre hits Cody Rhodes with his second Claymore kick in that match, Roman Reigns runs back into the ring and hits McIntyre with a Superman punch and sends him to the outside of the ring. Reigns then lines up Cody Rhodes and hits him with the spear, successfully pinning him to retain the undisputed title. In a digital exclusive, Drew McIntyre is seen backstage and gets approached by WWE interviewers, wanting to know his thoughts after once again failing to become the undisputed champion, but he refuses to comment and continues walking. Drew McIntyre is not seen on SmackDown for three weeks, but eventually shows up and reveals he needed time off after once again coming short of becoming the undisputed champion. McIntyre goes on to say that he needs to prove to himself that he is worthy and that he can beat Roman Reigns. He then explains how he needs to prove he is not reverting back into the guy that constantly lost and eventually got fired. In the following weeks, Drew McIntyre is winning match after match after match on both Raw and SmackDown against guys like Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Bronson Reed, Johnny Gargano, Karrion Cross, and many more. Drew McIntyre even wins matches at the pay-per-view events Payback and Hell in a Cell. After all of his victories, Drew McIntyre would look into the camera and warn Roman Reigns that his reign is almost over with the Undisputed Championship. The next pay-per-view event on the horizon is Money in the Bank, and Roman Reigns makes a rare appearance on SmackDown addressing Drew McIntyre for the warnings he has been making. Roman says that Drew McIntyre had his chances to dethrone him at Clash at the Castle and at WrestleMania Backlash, but failed. Roman then tells Drew he isn't afraid of his warnings and that he will not get another opportunity at his Undisputed Championship as long as he is the champion. Later in the night, Adam Pearce announces that Drew McIntyre will face Santos Escobar in a Money in the Bank qualifying match next week on SmackDown. But after done talking, Paul Heyman enters the room and tries to make Pierce not give Drew an opportunity at the Money in the Bank contract. But suddenly, Paul Heyman looks to his right in fear, and Drew McIntyre enters the room and grabs Heyman by the neck and tells him that Roman knows he is the only person in WWE that can beat him, and that Paul is proving that Roman Reigns is afraid of Drew McIntyre. Drew then walks away, and Adam Pearce smiles at Paul Heyman and tells him he is going to enjoy Roman's reaction to Drew possibly getting a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Before SmackDown goes off the air, Roman Reigns is seen backstage with Paul Heyman, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sokoa, with Paul Heyman asking Reigns what they are going to do if Drew does win the Money in the Bank contract, but all Roman does is look at him and then look down at the ground having a concerned look on his face. The next week on SmackDown, Drew McIntyre takes on Santos Escobar for a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match, but during the match, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa get involved and try to cost Drew McIntyre a spot in the ladder match, but somehow, McIntyre is able to take them out and is able to hit Santos with the Claymore kick, winning the match. The Money in the Bank pay-per-view is here, and it's time for the Money in the Bank ladder main event match. Drew McIntyre climbs the ladder to retrieve the contract later on in the match, 
But just like on SmackDown, Jimmy and Solo try to cost Drew the match, but Drew is able to fight them off. Drew McIntyre is the one that wins the match and closes the show holding the Money in the Bank contract, with every fan in the arena on their feet cheering for him. In a digital exclusive, Drew McIntyre is asked how he feels after winning the contract, and he says that he feels great and also reveals that he will have an announcement on SmackDown, leaving everyone wondering what his announcement could be about. Two days later on Raw, Roman Reigns is in the ring holding a mic, demanding Drew McIntyre to come out to the ring and make his announcement. Roman grows impatient and still tries to get him out to the ring and make his announcement right now, but Roman and everyone else wondering where Drew is find out from Adam Pearce that he is not here tonight. Adam Pearce then says that everyone will wait until this Friday to hear from Drew McIntyre what his announcement is, but Reigns interrupts him and claims that Drew is ducking him because he knows he can't win a match against Roman Reigns. We get to SmackDown and Drew McIntyre kicks off the show, revealing what his announcement is, but after he calls out Roman Reigns, claiming he is not ducking him, Roman Reigns and the Bloodline come out to the arena and Roman and Drew get into a heated promo segment on who is the best WWE superstar of this generation. Drew McIntyre says that he is glad Roman Reigns is in the ring with him right now so he can make his announcement to Roman's face. Roman then laughs and says to Drew that if it's about cashing the briefcase in on him right now with both of them fresh, then Drew proves he is not a coward, but just someone that is stupid. McIntyre just smiles at Roman and reveals that he will cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase against Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship, not tonight on SmackDown, but at SummerSlam. After hearing the announcement, Reigns tells McIntyre to get prepared to once again lose and that he should have not said anything and instead cashed in on him after a match like a typical coward would. SummerSlam is here and it's time for the main event. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre for the Undisputed Championship. And in the beginning of the match, Roman tells Drew that he is not on his level and never will be as long as he is still champion and in WWE. During the match, it looks like McIntyre is going to win when he hits a Claymore, but Roman kicks out. And after Roman is able to deliver a spear to Drew McIntyre later on in the match, he kicks out. Another spear eventually later on in the match. McIntyre once again kicks out. Drew hits Roman with a Future Shock DDT and sets him up for another Claymore kick. But Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa come to Roman's aid, trying to cost Drew the championship, but is once again able to fight off the two. Behind Drew, Roman gets back up and locks in the guillotine, but Drew is again able to somehow stay in the fight refusing to give up, escaping the guillotine. Drew then hits his third Future Shock DDT in the match and is this time able to hit his second Claymore kick in this match to Roman, pinning him, becoming the new WWE Undisputed Champion, celebrating with the fans. A moment, by the way, he didn't have back in 2020 when he beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. He proved against Roman Reigns that he is no longer number two and is now officially the number one guy in the current era of WWE. So there you go, everybody. Uh, this was my fantasy booking video of how I would want Drew McIntyre to win the WWE Undisputed Championship. If somehow, shape, or form, um, Cody doesn't win it, which I can say right now I do believe that Cody will actually win um, the Undisputed Championship from Roman because I really don't see this actually happening. This is just a little fantasy of what I would want to see, um, especially with someone like Drew McIntyre. Um, so yeah, this is my very first one, uh, my very first fantasy booking video that I've made here on this channel. Um, I am thinking about making some more eventually, sometime later on down the line. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of wrestling or WWE or just Drew McIntyre specifically, you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. 
And also, come follow me over on Twitch and Discord. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye.